Hi all. Welcome back on my channel. Uh, today I want to share with you some uh, design simulation and calculation uh, with my previous experience and my last customer. Um, he asked me several things about the design. The, the first the first one was about the fact um, depending on the loads during the machining and the milling operation uh, would a machine will be able to support uh, the load uh, and the second question uh, my customer had the last year uh, was about the accuracy of the machine so the question was under a certain load and torque uh, would be possible uh, to maintain some uh, uh, very small deviation uh, on the three axes. So I have to make some calculations, some simulation, and um, I did the same thing for the new CNC project uh, I am working on. The first thing first uh, when you make such design is to be sure that when you put some loads during certain operation, um, the steel and the material will be able to support uh, those constraints. So um, there is some very simple and uh, free application uh, that can help you uh, during uh, this simulation. And, and uh, the first example I want to show you um, is, for example, during the drilling operation. So the dimension and the beams and the point uh, on the screen, on the bl uh, on the green screen here, are linked uh, to the new uh, CNC machine. And in this example, it is a simulation or calculation with a drilling operation where we focus on the load uh, about 4,000 newtons. So it means a very big load. It's like a, a unsharpened, you know, uh, drill drill bits. And the purpose of this load is to understand or to simulate to where uh, the the weakness of the machine is and uh, if there will be some uh, some big deviation during the, the drilling uh, operation. So uh, in this design, if we apply uh, 4,000 loads in the z-axis, you can see the z-axis here, the x and y are in this direction, um, the result of the following. On the node number 3, uh, the deviation will be 7 micron. On the node number 4, so the node, the color of the nodes are the purple one. So the node number four is the the milling head attachment where there is the tooling. So on the node number four, the deviation will be seven microns, and uh, on uh, node number five, the deviation will be fourteen micron. So the node number five is the the end of the colon. So during as we can say during a drilling operation with a strange and a load of 4000 newtons on the z-axis the maximum move will be 14 microns uh, on the opposite point if you check where the tooling is mounted so the node number 4 um, deviation would be 7 micron on the y and 8 microns uh, on the z so um, it is a pre pretty acceptable deviation with such load. Uh, the other example I have is during uh, a surface milling. During a surface milling you have two loads applied to the CNC machine. The first one uh, is a vertical load. In this example it's a 2000 newton. So that is a very big load. And uh, you have also a torque applied to the head. So in this uh, situation the torque is uh, 1000 newton meters. That is also very big torque. And uh, the same thing, um, you, you compare the result of the calculation, so you have in this situation uh, flexion and actual uh, results uh, on a machine, and also uh, for each beam of the machine uh, it tells you if it works okay or not. So in this situation the green color for the, for the design means that all the strains and the load are below on what the material is able to support. So it's a good um, a good thing to know that uh, with such high load and torque, uh, the machine will be uh, easy, uh, supported easily without breaking in any uh, area of the of the machine. If we go further during the surface milling and uh, just to show you how it is calculated, so the purple dirt. 
and the purple figures uh, are the, that we call the node. Um, the orange figure is the beam that joins two nodes. And during calculation, for example, during the, the surface milling operation in this situation, uh, if we check the node number four, where, where we have the, the tool attachment, uh, you can see that during the uh, surface milling operation, uh, the X deviation would be 13 micron, the Y would be 3 micron, and the Z 4 micron. And uh, the other deviation we can have would be on the node number 3, so this one, and on the node numbers, number 5, so the end of the colon, where the deviation will be uh, for the node number 3, 3 micron, and 7 micron for the node number 5. So uh, <coughs> it also explains that uh, uh, the deviation would be very low even if such load are applied you know, to the CNC machine. And the last, uh, the last calculation was made for the drilling with a very high pressure, so 4,000 newtons, and this very big, on the on the tool attachment with no torque. So considering there is a very small drill bit, for example, and in this case the max move uh, will be observed on the node number five, on the y-axis with 40 micron, 14 micron, sorry and only y micron on the z and if we check the node number four with a such pressure on the tool um, the y deviation will be seven micron the z would be eight micron and uh, the x will have no moves at all so just to share with you uh, what this new machine is able to do and when you make such calculation you define you know the, the um, several nodes that are, are in the machine and the beams uh, are the proper geometry. So in the in the case of the new CNC, it's the U, and the U beam, and you give the dimension, the thickness, and then uh, you have the calculation. Um, <coughs> if you are interested to, to go further and uh, to to have uh, some calculation for uh, for your own purpose, uh, I use you know two sorts for making the calculation. The first one is uh, uh, P bar. You have the name here, and P bar is a uh, it's written in Python. Uh, it's a very very good uh, very good soft. It's able to work with very complicated you know structure, but it's a very also uh, simple way to uh, enter and to make for example a new study like this one. Um, you define uh, like here the nodes, then you can uh, define the beams here, the way the, the nodes and the beam are, are joined. So that's very, very easy soft. Uh, and it can help you to make a good design, avoiding some uh, uh, some things that uh, could be uh, dangerous with, or uh, uh, with things that uh, can affect the, the meaning or the machining operation uh, with, with a strange. The other uh, application that you can use is also a free lane. It's a, a French guy who uh, did that, and it's uh, it's the this soft uh, I used in, to make the calculation. This one is able to make calculation uh, in the three dimension, and the other one only make in two dimension. So uh, you take more time with a pi bar to make a calculation, and Freelam is more, uh, let's say, uh, quick to make 3D. Um, calculation but it's more complex to enter information and to understand uh, how a thing works. So guys, um, was a short sharing about uh, the simulation and calculation and you can save uh, you know hours and big mess uh, with this kind of method. Um, so see you for the next episode. Thanks for watching guys.